I think it's an interesting one. You know, we, we've had crossover fights before, of course. The one in most recent years was Mayweather against McGregor, um, which I, I was fortunate enough to be ringside for, and and it was it was a, a wild event. It was a fantastic spectacle of of combat sports, and I loved it. I loved every moment of it, and I think there's plenty of room for a lot more of those to happen. Um, you know, Tyson Fury is such a such a huge character and such a presence in in the boxing world. He's a very skilled fighter, very very aware, very. Uh, very dangerous individual and, and I think if he crossed over to mixed martial arts he would be he would be successful as well um and of course you know other big names around the sport the Anthony Joshua's mm-hmm. and Deontay Wilder's mm-hmm. these are all big fights for Francis Ngannou because he brings something to the table that is uncommon even in heavyweight boxing and that is a scary power that takes one punch to knock people out and, and I feel like, you know, you put him in there against some of the top boxers in the world, they know full well that he can knock them out. And that changes the way that they approach it. I'm, I'm excited for any of these crossover bouts because I think they, they they bring lots of interest for the fans and they make a lot of fun, you know, at, at the events. And I think Francis Ngannou fighting any of those guys in the big gloves or the small gloves would be a, would be a lot of fun. I, I think I think people are recognizing that it, that it's mm-hmm. it's an opportunity for people outside of combat sports to to step into a different uh, realm. You know, of course, Jake Paul is boxing at the moment. He's talked about making his MMA debut. That'll be with the PFL. That's that's a big deal. And of course, he'll he'll be matched accordingly with someone that's going to really challenge him. Um, but the the thing is, and and you know. This has always been uh, reinforced, especially after the McGregor Mayweather fight, is that the UFC don't want any part in any of these kind of, uh, you know, cross promotion fights. And, and, uh, you know, I think it's a shame because, you know, who wouldn't like to see John Jones in there against some of the names that I've I've mentioned in boxing. But ultimately, because that door has been closed so, you know, so, so many times over and over again at press conferences recently, everybody looks to the PFL as the people to do business with. You know, and now we've got Francis Ngannou over on our on our side as well. That means that there are options on the table for the likes of Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua to consider either taking a boxing match against the you know the heavyweight king in Francis Ngannou, or to step over into mixed martial arts and try their chances there. Um, with PFL having that door open, I think people see the opportunities there and they're more likely to gravitate towards us. I think it opens things up hugely. And I, and I think, you know, it's very difficult to do that with another division outside of the heavyweights. Like heavyweight always leads combat sports because they're the, the biggest punches, the biggest presence. Um, and I think with Francis Ngannou, I mean, we've got to consider the chance that he took, the risk that he took to step into free agency, you know, relinquishing his heavyweight title in the UFC and taking his chances he, he's, a, he's a man with a plan, really he is. I spoke to him, was it last week, the week before? Um, I was so impressed with the, 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 the amount of thought and consideration that has gone into the decision that he's made. And this wasn't just a decision for him and his career as well. Of course, he wants the opportunity to have boxing matches because he likes the idea of the challenge. And the reality is, I think within two fights, he would have run out of opportunities in the UFC anyway. You know, like if imagine if he knocked out John Jones, then you put in someone like Stipe Miocic, who's almost as old as me, or, um, you know, Sergei Pavlovich, who who's, I just don't think he's quite ready yet. Like the options are thin no matter where Ngannou goes because he's such a dangerous person. Um, but I think, you know, he's got the opportunity to box and I think that makes him excited. He's got the opportunity to make sure his opponent gets paid really well, which makes him feel far more comfortable about punching them as hard as he can. And then, you know, he's got the opportunity to build mixed martial arts in Africa and help out hundreds and hundreds of fighters and save them from going through the the, the struggles that he did. I, I think he's changed the game in, in a single move, one person. And I think there are very few people that could have done that. I'm very, very proud of, of him for doing it and very, uh, very thankful that he's that he's made this this stance for himself and for the fighters.